Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today I thought I'd do something in the big journal that we made the other day. Um, so this is the first page and I thought I'd just try and do a, like a background page. Um, so I've got some bits and pieces here. I've got some of uh, the Tim Holtz sort of like tissue wrap it's called, um, which I might use. And I've got some tissue paper um, and I've got some book pages. Um, and I also found this lovely napkin that I've got and it's got beautiful feathers on it so I hope you can see that look aren't they gorgeous so really really lovely so I thought I'd use that as well but I thought I'd just do sort of like a background I'm not going to speed it up um, but some of you have asked me to to do it in sort of like real time so I thought I would do that I did just a little bit on the back um, onto the page um, but I'm going to just pop not quite sure what I'm going to do actually pop a little bit of that I've also got some um, three oxide distress oxide which is the black soot frayed burlap and the vintage photo so I will be using those as well I think so I'm going to use a bit of this um, matte gel medium I'll pop all the links to what I use down below because um, a few of you have been asking me for that as well and I keep forgetting to to um, add the links to it so I'm going to start doing that so what I'm going to do I'm going to just start off by just sticking some tissue paper down so I'm going to sort of like and this just sticks down really really easy and then what I do want to do is sort of like give it a little bit of texture on there like this on this book I fancy doing it adding sort of like more elements to it to, to make it look a bit more sort of collagey because um, there's lots of things you can do and trying to get a little bit more adventurous because I think that's how you learn isn't it so let me just check and make sure we're all in view yes we are I do tend to stop talking sometimes when I'm thinking, so um, if I go quiet, I do apologise. So, and I hope it doesn't go um, out of focus as well, because that's what it tends to do when it's sort of like just plain white. So let's just stick that on there. So what I might do is just add a few bits of this under here, so it got something to sort of focus on Pop some bits of paper on here this is just I've got no idea what I'm going to be doing so I'm just adding some bits of paper I just want this to be um, sort of like um, just a background I think just a background paper so then I can come back in and add to it Oops. just random bits of paper it's mainly sort of like book pages that I've got add a bit more of this I've got a new one I've, had, I've bought a new one of these but it's a different make I can't remember which one it is now but um, I just want to sort of like see if it's any different or what the difference is between them so I will try that out when it comes try and go quite quickly because then I don't have to sort of think or I don't want to think oh no I've just done with my brush it's not very good is it I don't want to sort of think about what I'm doing 
I want to be able to just sort of like do it if you know what I mean without having to think about it too much um, so it's a bit more sort of spontaneous so I'm just sort of like sticking where I can isn't really the best brush to use but never mind. We needed a bit of a harder brush I think. But we shall see how we go. love the colour of this old paper. It's lovely. Probably won't look that colour when we finish but it's really really nice. Okay, a bit more tissue paper I think over the top of this. Give it a little bit of nice texture on there. Not too much in there because I'll never be able to close the book, will I? So let's just pop it down on these bits. Like that. onto this bit. This is quite nice. I love this paper. I'm going to have to try and find some more. I think I'll have to have a little look on Amazon and see if they'll send anything out. I do like it. It's a really nice thickness to it. It's thin but um, so it's like transparent but it's really just it feels really nice. And it's so perfect for um, collaging and decoupage because it sticks down really well. Again, you can just use any of your old scraps. Here, I don't seem to get any um, junk mail. We don't seem to get any junk mail at all here, so I can't sort of like use any any junk mail. So. Um, I tend to use packaging and stuff, but we don't tend to get any junk mail at all, which is nice. Not even from um, restaurants or takeaway places, for some reason. I'm going to quickly give this a bit of a dry. There we go. I think that's dry enough. So I'm going to just go over it with a little bit of gesso. Okay, and my little pot. And then this little spatula thingy. I need to fill this up a little bit. I'm just going to go over like this. I think it might still be just a little bit wet. We'll let that dry in a minute for a bit. Textures are great. Love the textures on here. OK, 
Okay, so I'm going to just let that dry for a little bit and then I will come back to it. Okay, so that's pretty much dry now, um, dry-ish. So I pop some ink down here um, and what I'm going to do, what I thought I might do is add a little bit of gesso to it. So just to mix it in and see if I can get a sort of coloured gesso in there. So let's see if this works. So then it's almost like a painting with it, isn't it? Let's see. Yes, that comes out nice, doesn't it? So I want this to be more textured, textured, should they say, than, than painted, really. to the brown probably could have done with a little bit more ink on there and a little bit of the black if it will add a bit of water what did I do with my water there we go I don't want to make the page too wet Nice and messy. Great background page. This is why it doesn't really matter what you put on the background, does it, to give you the texture because you end up covering it all up anyway. I'm going to quickly blast that a minute. Okay, so that's pretty dry, or as dry anyway little bit wet so I'm just gonna just wipe this down so I can just add a little bit more ink to that where is this one the vintage photo I'm gonna put on there and some water okay I'll pop the uh, link down as well for this um, glass mat because it's fabulous absolutely love it so let's see if we can get some drippy bits on here whether this will work down here I am oh I am I am going to order some of the sprays the oxide sprays I think because I think I'll probably benefit quite a lot from those so I can just spray the colour on um, so I need to have a look and see what I can get I could do with some a nice white pen and some all sorts of bits for the mixed media I think so I can do a little bit more with it that's nice and dripping down. I quite like this dripping at the moment. Big mess. Okay, let's get a bit of black in here. 
not quite black. It's almost sort of a grey, I find. I want to sort of like get a, sort of a line across here. Give it a little spray while it's leaning up against the water there. See if that's going to drip down at all. A little bit. Just dry it a bit of texture on there. I'm going to just get the tissue and just get rid of this excess drips on here. And then I'll just make another mess. Got a little bit of gesso on here. my little um oops here let's see what I've got on here which I can add some texture with I think I'm gonna have to make a few more of these um stencils because I quite like those I don't know whether you'll see that not really Let's try another one. This one's got lots of little holes in. Oh, that's better. Get a bit more gesso. Oh, that's nice. Yes, definitely need, need to make a few more stencils. Oh, that's coming through now. all messy. Okay. Right, I'm going to just blast it again. Okay, perfect. Now I'm quite liking that as a background page. Um, so I might leave that and I might actually carry on in a bit when it's drier and finish it off so I shall see quick blast it again okay so what I think I might do is just actually go around the edge and sort of frame it a little bit oh gosh I'm getting really goopy let's go around with the brush I think let's just give it a little frame here so once this is dry you pick up all the texture with some um, 
ink. I think it looks really, really nice then. Just trying to use up all the ink that I've got here so it doesn't go to waste. I don't even see this. I hope I'm in frame there. dry um, and then I think I will come back and actually do something with it because I quite like this and I don't really want to leave it and not use it so there we go guys I will be back in a bit when this is dry okay so I'm back and this is all lovely and dry now so what I thought I would do I've got these lovely, again, the Tim Holtz um, paper dolls. So I thought I'd use these three ladies here. Um, and again, I'm going to actually do a little bit more of this. And I thought I might add a pop of colour. So this is a beautiful napkin here, so which is lovely. So I thought I might just, behind them, just if they're sort of like sitting down. This adds sort of like a little pop of colour behind. So we'll see how that goes. And I've also got, I found this, which um, a few sayings that I um, typed out. And this one, a grateful heart is a magnet for miracles. So I thought that was quite nice. So I might use that on there as well. So let's see. Let's make something for them to sort of look like they're sitting down first. So we need to, I'll do a little bit of sort of a collage on here I think so let's tear a little bit of this off like that I did have these lovely um, postcards here but they're just a bit too hard and a bit too big um, but they would have been ideal if they were sort of paper um, now I'm going to just a little bit of this off like that so they're sort of sat down on it like that let's do a little bit of layering let's get a bit of this as well I think or oh, I could use the top them on there okay let's just do it let's just stick it on let's pop a little bit of this on there I should have found a bit of brush really never mind sort of level have a little bit of this to give a little, little bit of texture
quick last, a quick dry. Okay, I think we're going to have to have a little bit of gesso just to kind of mute it down just a little bit. Another one here, I think, which was. Maybe we'll have a little of this. It's not a distress. This is a distressing, but it's um, not the oxide. So let's just see if I can darken this black up a little bit. to add a piece of a napkin. So which bit shall we use? Let's do it like this. Too much. quite like that. Let's take that off. Let's add a little bit of this. Let's see if that's enough on there. That looks really nice. There's a little pop of colour on there, so it doesn't look so um, boring, really. I would say so that looks quite nice, doesn't it? Okay, let's stick these ladies on then. Let's see if they will stick down properly. Some of this on and see if we can take the shine off a little bit of that shine Should sure they stuck down lovely I'm just going to quickly dry them okay so now we need to even the pages up so we need a little bit of napkin on this side don't we so let's put this one here into this corner to invest in some new brushes and bits I think and they're all sort of falling apart I think they've all been well used okay. 
I like that. I think that looks really nice. Where did that stain go? Here we go. Let's just tear this off. Actually, maybe I would like straight edges actually. Make it look a little bit neat. I don't think I used these before because it didn't quite print out properly. But I don't mind that one here. There we go. So how shall we have it? We could have just some little sections. Grateful heart is a magnet for miracles. There we go, that can just go there. Let's stick that down. Let's just have a bit of this. Don't want to put too much on top of it in case it smudges all the, um, the print, the ink on there. There we go. Perfect. Now let me just stand up and just make sure it's all straight. Gosh, I'm getting messy here. Let's have a little bit more of a flower on there. Just on the corner of it. Should be enough of glue and stuff on there. Just chop these little bits off afterwards. I'm liking that. I think that looks really nice. Now I need to do something down here. dry this bit of gesso here. Okay so that's pretty much dry so let's just go over this and then just use this bit of ink up here. Bit of water in it. Definitely to get a pen to do this. Try and outline these a little bit. Now, 
think it's just a tiny bit wet. So. Perfect. Love it. That looks really good. I think we could just do a little bit more framing. Okay, I think that's done. I quite like that. Probably do with a few splatters or something, but um, for now I think I have finished it. I'll let that dry. I might come back and do a few little bits to it. Um, but I think that came out really well for my first big one, double page of my big journal. Alright guys, well thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you're all staying safe. Um, and in your craft rooms um, busy um, so thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time bye bye